Welcome to Judy Farms. I'm Greg Judy and today I'm going to go over some of the topics that we're going to be covering on our May Mob Grazing School which is coming up the 9th to the 11th. Uh, we'll be having Ian Mitchell Ennis from South Africa in and Mark Bader. We're going to be covering today some of the topics. Uh, to, these cattle that we're looking at behind us are our South Pole herd. They are a grass genetic herd. We're selling grass finished beef on grass, 100% grass, no grain. And we're going to be going over our grazing practices, our watering, the way we're moving, the way we've managed, uh, the way we've built this herd. Uh, today we're looking at April 1st. Uh, the spring grass is coming up. It's about three inches tall. And we're ahead of the game. We've still got some winter stockpile here. We've got some green material and we've also got some dry material. And that's critical this time of the year to get the right amount of dry matter in the cows along with the green so the cows can utilize the green grass. I think far too many people start grazing in the spring before the grasses are ready. So we're going to go over some management practices in the grazing school to ensure that you have enough winter stockpile grass to get these livestock through the winter healthy, get them on this spring grass with some dry matter without overgrazing your pastures. Folks, if you start grazing too early in the spring, you're dead. Your grasses will never get recovered in time before the summer heat arrives. You're not going to have any fall growth, and you're going to be out of the grazing business. We've got to get animals that can survive 100% on grass alone, and that's what we're excited about. We're also going to cover a lot of the topics that we've done with our grass-finished lamb. Uh, we were selling uh, grass-finished lamb off of grass with parasite resistance. There's just no work in sheep if you get the right kind of sheep and the right management practices. We're also going to cover compost tea a little bit. We're just getting into that. Never been more excited about it. Uh, we have the potential here to double, double our grass production, higher brixes, higher weaning weights, strictly off of grass, higher fertility rates, better health on the cattle, sheep. It's just, and it's a low input system, folks. It's not going to take a lot of money to learn this. It is take some management and some learning practice and reading. We're going to go over some of that. We're really excited about that. Um, but we just hope that everybody can uh, break loose, come out, and join us. It's May 9th to 11th at Judy Farms. Pasture walks every day. Uh, Ian's going over a lot of the holistic management practices. And when you leave this school, you sh you'll be able to go home and implement these practices and be successful at it. That's what we're trying to do is get people back on the land using grass, get away from all these inputs that's killing the cattle farmer. Let's make a good living on the land, folks. We should be able to keep the money in our pocket rather than sending all the money to town. And we're emphatic about that. We can do it. Now let's do it. Thank you all.